It appears that a seriously consequential debate about the future of American health care has already turned into a name-calling blame game over a plan that doesn't yet exist because Republicans aren't sure what to do and Democrats aren't about to help them figure it out. Before Republican leadership puts together a plan to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, they're probably going to need to get this guy on board. Congressman Jim Jordan from Ohio is a member of the House Freedom Caucus that's expressed serious concerns about Ryan's two-step strategy. And his caucus has the numbers, certainly, to make some noise. Congressman Jordan, appreciate your being with us. Good to be with you today, Peter. So let's talk about what the House Freedom Caucus wants. Will it kill the current two-step plan being proposed by leadership that basically says be a repeal Obamacare now, then figure out a replacement later? No, but we're not saying that. We're just saying we need to get rid of Obamacare. Look, I think health care will be better and less expensive when Obamacare is completely repealed. That's what the voters expect us to do. That's what they sent us here to do. That's what we plan to do. And then let's put in place a model that is market or Oriented, that is patient focused, consumer focused, family focused, doctor focused, not Washington focused as is Obamacare. That's what our plan is. That's what we think needs to happen and it should happen as quickly as possible. So the bottom line is over the course of six years, the Republican Party held 60 plus votes to repeal Obamacare. Was there no plan to replace it at any point during that time? Does that still not exist? There have been a number of plans put forward. The one Dr. Price, who's likely to be the next Health and Human Services Secretary, a good man, a guy that I have, a colleague and a, and a good conservative member of Congress. Uh, there's the, the plan put out by the Doctors' Caucus that Phil Rowe a, a put out earlier today that is a, a good plan that focuses on just what I talked about, but focusing be, a model on patient-centered, doctor-centered, family-centered, not what this, not what Obamacare is. And never forget, this was a plan that every promise we were told turned out to be false. Everything they well, said, like your plan, keep your plan, like your doctor. To keep your doctor premiums will go down, deductibles will go down, let's break websites down. Break down some of the, all let's those break things down some were false. Of the Certainly, let's break down some of the details of its popularity. But to be very clear, you would vote in support of repeal, even if there isn't a replacement yet set. Yeah, we need to repeal it because that's what we told the voters we we're going to do. I always say we make this job way too complicated. Our job is to do what we told the voters we were going to do when they elected us to come here and serve them and their families. So we told them we were going to repeal it. Let's repeal every single bit of it. And then let's put in place a model that's going to actually make health care better and less expensive. So, but that's what we're going to focus on. So, the, so is that the problem is there could be a period of time right there where as many as 12, 20, excuse me, million Americans are without health care then. You heard the speaker today. He says we don't, we don't want to quote in, in, in Speaker Ryan's terms, pull the rug out. We so you repeal that. it and leave it. On, and so it's basically repeal and delay is what you're saying. You repeal, but there's got to be some phase in time. What we're saying is make that as short as possible. It shouldn't be some two, three, four year phase in time. It should happen quickly. It should happen this Congress, this year. That's what makes sense to us. The American people understand. I think anyone understands that you have to have some time for the market to adjust so you can put in kind of the, the, the plans and the policies that make sense that, act, sense that actually help families. That's what we're focused on doing. But it shouldn't stretch out for years and years and years. Sure. It should be done relatively quickly. Understood. Mark Meadows, the head of the Congress saying it has to happen during this Congress. You talked about some of the broken of promises. There are also parts of Obamacare that are very popular. These are all from the, the most recent Kaiser Family Foundation. 85% of Americans favor the provision in the law allowing young adults to stay on their parents' plan. 80% favor the law's financial subsidies. 80% like the law's option for states to expand Medicaid. Nearly 70% like what it does on pre-existing conditions. And 60% like the mandate for businesses with more than 50 workers. So are you going to get rid of all of that? I think you repeal the whole thing, but but look, let's take a couple of those. Take the 26-year-old, for example. Um, don't you think if that if there's that kind of support for it amongst the American people, don't you think the marketplace will say, well, let's make sure we have policies that allow that to happen? If that's what families want, and if there are young people who want to remain on their but that uh, stuff parents didn't pre-exist. That didn't exist. Those pre-existing conditions, those folks weren't covered before Obamacare. I was talking about the 26-year-old issue. The pre-existing is another. They big weren't one. covered. So, they weren't covered before. And, and don't you think there'll be something in the marketplace? And, and that is something, when you think about health care, the one thing that concerns families is something like that, where there is a major illness, maybe to, a, to one of their children, and they may have to change jobs. They want to make sure that they're going to have coverage for that serious illness in their family. Of course we can work through that, so there will be some time to do that. What we're saying is repeal it, because that's what we told the voters we were going to do, and then let's put in place a model that deals with some of the things you just raised, the 26-year-old, the pre-existing condition, but let's do it in a market-centered, family-centered, patient-centered way, not what Obamacare is. Remember 
remember, this law passed with not one single Republican vote. They rammed it through. Everyone knows it's been a disaster for our health care market and been, a, I think, an a, a impediment to economic growth as well. Everyone knows it's a disaster, so let's get rid of it. But we can but do the be right clear things over the that course need to be done six, for families. But to be just a final point on this, to be clear, over the course of six years with 60-plus votes to repeal this, there is still no plan that everyone's agreed on. So, the, so you're saying within two years you're confident you can come together, have that plan, and have it implemented. We have to, because that's what we told the voters we'll do. What I also know is there are good plans out there, some I've supported in the past, sponsors of in the past, good plans out there that do what I said. But the, you have to start from the premise. Health care will be better and less expensive when Obamacare is gone. Let's make sure it's patient-focused and family-focused, not, not focused on Washington. Congressman Jim Jordan joining us from Capitol Hill. Congressman